Hello, welcome to the ITF's official guide to wheelchair tennis. A series of videos in which we're going to talk about the elements that are key to playing, watching and enjoying one of the most popular of all Paralympic sports. Over the next months, we will look at topics such as the tennis wheelchair, mobility, serve and return, doubles, quad tennis and the reverse backhand. While in our final episode, we will find out what the sport means to its top players. In today's video, we will explore everything about the history of wheelchair tennis. Wheelchair tennis's journey began in the USA in 1976 when acrobatic skier Brad Parks was injured in an accident and started hitting tennis balls from his wheelchair while in rehabilitation. In 1981, the first tournament circuit began in the USA and the first international tournament took place in Paris in 1983. While the International Wheelchair Tennis Federation was founded at a meeting during the US Open Wheelchair Tennis Championships in October 1988. The same year, the ITF annual general meeting Meeting, adopted the two bounds rule as part of the rules of tennis. On the 1st of January 1998, the IWTF was fully integrated into the ITF, making wheelchair tennis the first disability sport to achieve such a union at international level. The two bounds rule means that wheelchair tennis integrates very easily with the able-bodied game, with no modifications needed to the size of the court, the height of the net or the size of rackets or balls. A wheelchair player must return the ball before it bounces a third time and while the first bounce must be within the usual parameters of the court, the second bounce can be outside of the court boundaries. All Paralympic sports are bound to follow the IPC requirements for classification, ensuring a fair level playing field for its competitors. Alistair Williams is going to explain you everything about classification. In wheelchair tennis, we have two sport classes, the open and the quad division. For players who, whose impairment only affects their ability to move around a tennis court when they're playing standing tennis, they play in the open division. The quad division is for players who also have an impairment of the upper limb that affects their ability to maneuver the chair, or to grip the racket or to play their tennis strokes. So classification is a complex area but there's a lot more information that is provided on the ITF website. The World Team Cup is the ITF's annual flagship team event and it's often referred to as the Davis and Billie Jean King Cups of wheelchair tennis. The initial event took place in California in 1985 involving just six men's teams. Regional qualification events have been held annually since 2012 and the 2023 World Team Cup will include 110 teams from 50 nations across the men's, women's, quads and juniors events. The ITF is delighted to have had the loyal support of World Team Cup title sponsor BNP Paribas since 2012. While wheelchair tennis has been played internationally since the 1980s, in 1991 Japanese electronics corporation NEC partnered with the ITF to sponsor a global wheelchair tennis tour and develop a world ranking system. Uniqlo became title sponsor of the wheelchair tennis tour in 2014, enabling the tour to continue to evolve and flourish. In 2023, the Uniqlo Wheelchair Tennis Tour offers close to $5 million in prize money and will feature over 160 tournaments in approximately 40 countries. Wheelchair tennis has been played at all four Grand Slam tournaments since 2007. And these tournaments sit at the top of the pyramid formation of the tour, alongside the sports year-end Masters tournaments. Super Series tournaments, with the pyramids continuing downwards to include ITF1, ITF2, ITF3 and ITF Futures tournaments. The NEC Wheelchair Singles Masters and ITF Wheelchair Doubles Masters are the sports year and championship events for the top men's, women's and quad players on the rankings. The Masters often provide a thrilling climax in the quest to end the year as world number one and earn the title of ITF World Champion. The ITF started a wheelchair tennis development program, which now is in over 50 countries. 
and with valued partners such as the Johan Cruyff Foundation, it's enabling new players to start participating in the sport. Wheelchair tennis has been a full medal sport at the Paralympic Games since the 1992 Games in Barcelona, having initially been an exhibition sport at the 1988 Paralympics in Seoul. Quad events were added in Athens in 2004. The sport's most celebrated champions include Dutch legend Esther Vergeer, who won eight Paralympic medals, seven of them gold, between 2000 and 2012, while Japan's Shingo Kunida became the first men's singles player to win three Paralympic gold medals when he triumphed in Tokyo. Great Britain's Peter Norfolk and Australia's Dylan Elcott both won back-to-back -back Paralympic quad singles gold medals during their careers. I hope you enjoyed this video about wheelchair tennis and its history and I hope to see you in the next episode.